It's important to understand what the angle of attack is, as it directly relates to the lift production and stalling characteristics of an aeroplane. Keep on watching for a little quiz about this subject at the end of this video. Take the cross section of a typical wing. When you slice the wing precisely in half from front to back, you get the mean camber line. Along this line, the thickness of the top half of the wing matches the thickness of the bottom half. The point where the mean camber line starts is called the leading edge of the wing, and the other end is called the trailing edge. When you connect these two points together, you get the cord line. In flight, the aeroplane passes through air particles in the atmosphere. These particles form a common path that indicate the relative motion between the aeroplane and the atmosphere. This is called relative airflow, and it acts in the opposite direction to the flight path direction of the aeroplane. The angle of attack is the angle between the cord line and the relative airflow. The angle of attack changes as the attitude of the aeroplane changes. For example, the angle of attack changes if the aeroplane pitches up and down in level flight. In a steady climb, however, the relative airflow is no longer horizontal but assumes the direction of the aeroplane's flight path. Even if the nose is pointing higher up, the angle of attack may be the same as if it was in level flight. Similarly, in a descent, the direction of the relative airflow assumes the aeroplane's flight path direction towards the ground, but the angle of attack remains the same. Test your knowledge now in this quiz. Good luck!